Podcast Universe, welcome to BUSB Broad Talk 2024, where bright things will always surround you. BUSB Broad Talk will stay with you, giving exciting news with empowering youth with so many discussions. Yes. Devin, what kind of fashion do you like? I think I really like colorful fashion. Mm-hmm. And of course, Indonesian old fashion, like 90s old fashion. Wow. Good to hear that one. So, we know that fashion is not just about trend or style, it is also a powerful form of self-expression and a reflection of our personal identity. However, behind this freedom, there are often challenges in the form of social pressure or maybe stereotypes. We will explore how we can express ourselves through fashion without fear and what the role of society, media, and community is in supporting the freedom of the expression itself. So, would you be interested in joining us for this discussion, Devin? Of course, I am very interested in our discussion this time. I feel like freedom of expression through clothing will lead us to discuss many things that may not be discussed by many people. That's right, Devin. So, what if we start right away? Let's start in a lab. Um, wait a minute. You forgot something? Okay. Do I forget something? Ah, oh, yes, that one. Tech line. I almost forgot it because I was too excited to discuss this topic. So, David, let's call our tech line together. Let's do it in a lab. The USB Talk 2024. Get ready to be updated. Never get bored with us. Woo! That's so fun! I'm so excited today, Devin. Okay. Yes. Wow, so excited today, Inoa. Let's jump to our discussion. But before we move to explore about our topic today, why don't we introduce ourselves first? Yes, you can go first. Okay. Hello, Press Universe. My name is Devin Sharani, and I'm with my partner. Hi, everyone. My name is Inola Adriana, and we will both will be your MC or your host in this episode. And I can't wait anymore, so let's jump to our next agenda event. So how about we invite our special speakers today? Yes. Please, Please welcome, welcome Kak, Kak Davina dan Kak Sabina. Maybe you can introduce yourself first. Mulai from Kak Sabina. Okay. Uh, hello. Hi. Hi, everyone. My name is Safina. I'm from VCD Batch 2022, and I'm 20 years old. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hello, guys. My name is Davina Batari. I'm from Communication 2023, and you know me as the Kebaya Girl. Ooh, <laughs> good to hear that, right? So maybe without further ado, Davin, let's go straight to the point of our discussion tonight. Okay. So first, hi all, so we're gonna uh, jump to the discussion of the self-expression itself. So fashion has been used for self-expression since ancient time with people using clothing or accessories to communicate their, their status, identity, and beliefs. So I'll start from Ka Davina, and Eka Davina, and then Ka Sabina. And how do you express yourself through fashion without fear of judgment or discrimination from others? Who's gonna start first? Ka, I know, okay, start. first. Okay, so I believe that fashion is a self emotion, self, uh, where we can, yeah, just be ourselves and having fun with it. Mm-hmm. And I just don't care about what other people think about me because fashion is just me being me. Yes. Yeah. yes. Uh-huh. Really great to hear that one. Uh-huh. How about you, Captain? Uh, to be honest, you said without fear of judgment. Yes. Uh, I also feel fear sometimes. Okay. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I just don't care. Yes. Yeah. Uh, just like her, this is me, and I like to dress like this. So I'm just not the kind of person that cares about what other people think of me. <laughs> so even though I feel fear, it's like, eh, you know, you only live once. Yes. Like, just, just like wear whatever you want. No one's gonna care, right? Yeah, no one's gonna care anyway. So. <laughs> So next question, uh, basically reflection on my personal journey, I found that expressing myself through fashion has been a transformative experience, although not without its challenge. Like many, I've encountered social pressure and stereotypes that often try to dictate what 
be made acceptable or stylish. And what is your personal experience of expressing yourself through fashion and fashion your social pressure or stereotype? Maybe Kak Sabina can go first. Uh, I have definitely uh, come across a lot of stereotypes. Uh, Especially, it's because I'm a Chinese. There's not. Uh, I don't fit the. I don't fit the usual Chinese stereotype, which is. I don't want to be sad, uh, but like it's it's kind of. I feel kind of like sad uh, when people when I say to people that I'm a Chinese. People are like, oh, you don't look a Chinese. Oh, I thought you were like from Jakarta or something like. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's not who I am. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, describe it. Yeah, okay. uh, I'm not from Jakarta. I'm Chinese, but uh, I, I just kind of, I, I, at the end of the day, I don't want to be the stereotypical Chinese because I want to be. I want people to see that uh, there's not, there isn't a cookie cutter expression uh, of being an Chinese. So yeah. So yeah, I've definitely come a lot, uh, come across a lot of stereotypes, especially with colored hair and like, mm -hmm. yeah. That's so really yeah. Yeah. relatable. So basically for me, because I'm wearing kubaya every single day on campus, many people like staring at me. Mm -hmm. And I have funny story, like one of my lecturers asked me, why you use kubaya to my class? Mm -hmm. Do you want to go to kondangan or something? And he's like, mm -hmm. is, it, is it wrong, sir, for me to use kubaya? Uh, it's not wrong, but why? I'm very curious about it. Mm -hmm. um, because I want to celebrate my day, I want yes. to celebrate myself with kubaya, I want to express it. And then, yeah, many people think that kubaya is old fashioned, yeah. it yeah. does not fit the trends or anything, but it's our culture, guys. Yes, it's yes. Our culture. And I think. Uh -huh. Trends, you make it trendy. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she make it. Yeah, <laughs> she's the pioneer. I also, I also get like people staring at, uh, staring at you, the kind of thing because people stare at me a lot. Some people actually just point their fingers at me. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're like, look at her, look at her. So, so what, uh, what response do you, uh, do you? I'm just like, I, it's sad, but I'm kind of used to it. Yeah, so I'm just like. Okay. Yeah. I'm what beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I'm definitely eye catching with yeah. my yeah, hair. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I feel like I'm yeah. here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank like you. Yes. Okay. So, uh, how about the Fina? It's about the stereotype. Do you want uh, about other uh, your your uh, how you can say how to express your yourself so. when someone staring at you? Mm, I'm good. I'm, yeah, I'm getting used to it also because I think like yeah, I'm the man character, so you you, yeah. you guys just staring at me yeah. as much as you want. I'm just all king, so yeah, yes. just just staring at me. This mm. is very fun. Yeah. Discussion. <laughs> <laughs> this is very fun discussion, right? Mm -hmm. Because uh, a lot of uh, young generation, do we know mm -hmm. that they're just like, why we need to use like that old fashion? We need to yeah. be trendy, yeah, but we have trendy. our own trendy. Yes. You know what I mean? yeah. We have our own trendy. So yeah, it's sad to hear that when people staring at us and and, and mm -hmm. doing this one, yeah. oh, it's not really necessary. Yeah, it's not, polite. yeah it's, it's not polite. Yeah, it's not polite. So yeah. I think we can jump to the next question. Okay. It seems like you guys are already uh, interested in this topic, mm -hmm. and how important is uh, for you to be able to express yourself through fashion, and what step do you take to maintain the courage to dress that the way you want? Uh. Start from Kasepi. Oh uh, yeah, uh, so how to maintain courage, right? Yes. Definitely, I don't dress good every day. Mm -hmm. There are some days where I don't feel like wearing makeup, I don't feel like wearing nice clothes to campus. Sometimes I'm just in my jeans and hoodies. And that's okay too, because uh, what I think is fashion is what makes you feel most comfortable in. Yes. 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 There's there. Uh, I feel grateful to be surrounded with a lot, with people with my friends that also love fashion but we also understand that people uh, fashion at what what's good is what you feel comfortable is yeah. in uh, so yeah I think that's a really great lesson if you want to dress good you need to be comfortable yes that's right <laughs> how about you Dana? okay for me it's very important to maintain my style with kubaya because kubaya helps me to connect with my cultural heritage yes. with my yes. grandma with my family tradition and for me to maintain it 
I guess because all of my closet is full of kebaya, oh. so I'm kind of wearing kebaya every single day. But I love it. You love yes. it. You love it. Can, can you tell me a, a little story about why you really love kebaya? Hmm. It's because of my grandma, I guess. Okay. Like because of my family. We originally from Yogyakarta. Yogyakarta. No, Yogyakarta. Yeah, because of that, I feel like princess whenever I oh, wear yeah. kubah. Yeah. <laughs> Good. You look like one. Yeah, yeah, you look like one. <laughs> no. Okay, so how about you? Why are you really like your style? Uh, it's. I I've actually never thought that I had a style. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so I just wear whatever pieces I like. So mm-hmm. this, I like it because it's colorful. I guess oh, yeah. I like oh. a lot of colors. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I also wear a lot of black. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but there are some like pieces that I love. Uh, I like crop tops. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. I also like big jackets like this mm-hmm. one. This is not mine actually. Okay. I also like. Big colorful pants like okay. this. Like this is one of my favorite pieces. It's thrifted actually. It's, wow. Yeah. I this is thrifted. also thrifted. I like so, that too. Yeah. Yes, thrifted. <laughs> yeah. So I think uh, I think I just own a lot of like unique pieces. Unique. Yeah. yeah. When uh, no one uses it yeah. before in, in our in our community. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> also, still a lot of people clothes. Okay. Yeah. Like still, my yeah. pants. Yeah. Still my grandma clothes. <laughs> oh, I get it. I also still my mom's clothes a lot. <laughs> Me too. Okay. Yeah. Okay, next. Okay. okay, considering the influence of media and the fashion industry, mm-hmm. one might wonder about their role in either fostering or hindering the freedom of expression and interest. Is there any media reference and fashion industry encouraging or inhibiting for freedom of expression and interest from For me, media plays dual role. Maybe uh, media can stop us to dress up like traditional way, but also media can help us to know more about traditional way. Like media uh, tends to like get rich of the globalization, like yes. West culture. Yes. We use uh, maybe like Korean pop culture also, but media can also give us to know more about kebaya, about our culture also. Mm-hmm. And for media, I don't really have influence on media, maybe. Uh, I love the movie, you know, Gadis Kertok. Oh, yeah, yeah. I watched that. Wow. That's, I that. That, that's my role mm-hmm. model, Dian Sastro. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, maybe just that. How about you, Kaksa? Uh, I actually also don't have any uh, like sort of inspiration for the way I dress. Mm-hmm. Uh, but a lot of fashion TikTokers mm-hmm. and influencers on Instagram and like TikToks or, or Pinterest really helped me found like the way I like to dress and help me find confidence because they all dress so differently and oh I remember this TikToker, you know this TikToker like yeah. Jung Dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. she's really She makes me uh, be yes. brave yes. Yeah, and uh, wanting to dress the way I dress. Uh, some just <laughs> just today, uh, my friend called me. Oh my God, Seppi, your hair is so dang dude. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Call me dang dude. You really like, love uh, when someone calls you dang dude. Uh, yeah, it, it's only been a couple of times, but uh, I feel like dang dude is like a colorful. It means like yes. you're fun, yes, colorful, is. and I love being colorful. Okay. Yeah. So it just it just means that I'm fun. So yeah. That's that's good to hear because. I mean, we can enjoy our uh, fashion, our uh, how we wear our clothes. It's just because we love it. Yes. We just need to be love what we want. Yeah. Yes, right. So, I think we can be next in our next uh, question. As we di- discussed before, was there a, a moment in your life when you felt the most free to express yourself, the fashion, and tell us about the experience? Okay. Uh, maybe mm-hmm. you can start, Kak Devi. Okay. The first moment, maybe first day of college, because we don't really have to use uniform. Okay. Yeah, that's the first day I, yeah, free to wear my kebaya to to show myself to the world and yeah, just being myself and having fun with this. I agree actually. Yeah. Uh, so I moved here from Aceh, right? Uh, so. Uh, It's sad, but I don't really feel confident back home. Uh, so when I move here, I feel like I found a new me. Okay. I found I, I found my confidence here. So 
first day to Canvas, especially the especially the first semester, mm -hmm. I went all out with my outfits. Basically, okay. it's uh, it's when I experimented with lots of things. Like I colored my hair for the first time. Like mm -hmm. I, when it, in my first year, I had red hair, oh, red and black hair, uh, and I love it. Okay. And uh, I was actually known as the girl with red hair. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wanita berambut merah, yeah. you know. Uh, and it's really fun. It made me miss honestly seeing the. Uh, so I'm like batch 23, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm batch 22. So seeing the people in batch 23 in the first semester really made me miss my first semester. Oh, so okay. yeah, mm -hmm. it, it it was really freeing uh, not being able to wear yes. uniform yes. and being able to wear whatever I want basically. And we knew you, you us, yeah, right? Yeah, me. Yeah. And no one, no one, no one's gonna know you in this. Yeah. So that's press, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's that's good to hear to, to, to know every story that they have, right? So uh, actually, I really interested about a kabaya itself. Actually, uh, you say that when you're in high school, you don't uh, usually use your kabaya yeah. because you need to use uniform, right? Yeah. So uh, how about your friend when when they know that you are like kabaya? Uh, they're really really surprised. Surprised. Yeah, like. I don't know that you like to use that kind of clothes. I thought you were like modern or K-pop lovers. Yeah, I used to. I used to have. I used to like Blackpink and I used to like BTS yeah, back too. in my back in my <laughs> senior yeah. high school. Uh huh. Yeah, they they really surprised, but yeah, they are real support how I dress right now. And yeah. Okay, that's like good. That. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Next question is. Exploring the boundaries of self-expression through fashion, naturally mm -hmm. raise questions about the existence of boundaries mm -hmm. in this creative field. Do you believe that there are limits to express through fashion? If yes, what are the limitations which influence your dressing style? Okay, you can start that Oh, uh, okay. So I think my limitation is environment and fear itself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Growing up in an, a strict environment, I feel like you're you'll not ever you'll not, you are not able to express yourself the way you want to, mm -hmm. and uh, the way you dress is also limited by the environment you are in. Like for example, when you're in campus, you can't wear tiny skirts. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So um, less limitation, more like regulation. Uh -huh. uh, but I feel like. Yeah, fear is a really big thing because I am, like I said, uh, I might look confident, but I don't. I I still have lots of yeah. fear in me. Mm -hmm. Like I'm scared. I really want to wear. You know, like those big black boots, the okay, thick I ones. I really want to wear that, but I am scared. <laughs> so maybe one day I'll find the courage to. Okay. Uh, but. Uh, yeah, right I now. want to see. I want to see that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I want to see that. I want to see that. It's gonna be fit on you. Oh yeah. my god, I also want to see that. But I think like uh, the fear is only in my head. So I think. Yes. <laughs> so I think we all just need to like let go of our fears and like Relax. be brave. Yeah. Be brave. Yeah. 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 I'm also learning, you guys. Yeah. How about you? Uh, for me, I have to know my boundaries. I have to set my boundaries because kebaya can be refilling someday. It can yeah. be like. Show too much skin. I have to wear appropriate clothes also when I attend the class, right? Like my docent say to me, my lecturer say to me, why you use kubaya? You want to go to kondangan? <laughs> no, sir, this is me. So yeah, I have to know the appropriate clothes to go to class, to go to campus, or every occasion. Ah, uh, actually, uh, I have a story about it too. Uh huh. Uh, because I know you. Are, I I know you are really actually. This is really famous in our campus, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah she, she is. She is right. How about in your batch, Do uh, you know, right? Uh, I know Daphina because she's just suddenly came came up to me. She was really friendly, yeah. and I was like, oh my god, this girl is so nice and yeah. so pretty and so talented. Yeah. Like I, I looked at her Instagram. I'm like, oh yeah. Uh, yeah. No. It makes sense. Yeah. She's famous for a yeah. reason. Yeah. yeah. She's very famous. I actually uh, know know her and how he, she walk and how she express herself uh, with uh, the, from their from her fashion. It's really good to know her with the kabaya itself, yeah. right? Okay. So I don't know if you heard this topic before, but 
It's we know that the reason trending about the fast fashion, oh, okay. and there's a lot of people talk about fast fashion. There's mm-hmm. a pro and contra about it. And how your opinion about fast fashion itself? Starting from Kasim. Uh, I think I think fast fashion is only bad when you when there's overconsumption involved. Uh, uh, us college students, we don't have a lot of money, obviously. Yeah. So sometimes fast fashion is the answer if you want to get cool, trendy clothes. But mm. it is only sustainable if you wear the cool, trendy clothes that might only be micro trends for mm. years and years to come until it breaks. Yeah. So I think fast fashion is good if you wear it until it breaks. Yes. 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 Uh, I also buy fast fashion. I buy from Shopee, yeah. obviously, because I don't have a lot of money. Uh, but the things that I buy, I wear until it breaks. So I'm really proud to say that uh, I follow trends, of course, but I wear that for years to come. Okay, so don't okay. be overconsumption. Yeah, yes. don't buy ten things and only gonna wear one of them yeah. one time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. yes, that's true. Speak okay. louder. Yeah. Okay, how I agree with you, actually. I'm, I'm actually not a big fan of fast fashion because it's more like trend. Mm-hmm than the sustainability and I like to invest more to buy a priceless, eh priceless, timeless, timeless, <laughs> timeless like clothes and yeah I have to invest more than buy a fast fashion. Okay. Uh, about? How about the trip thing? Are you agree that yes. there is there is access in our um, fashion industry? Mm-hmm. How about it? Uh, yeah, I uh, love thrifting. Yeah, I went thrifting yesterday. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, yesterday. Like, oh, not yesterday. Yeah. Uh, and Sunday, actually, on oh. Sunday, yeah. Uh, but I didn't find anything, so I bought this shirt for like uh, three, for three, lima puluh ribu for three. Wow, wow, that's a yeah. good deal. Where where you find that one? Pasar Senen. Oh, okay. okay. Let's go to that. Place. I love going there. I also <laughs> actually found a lot of clothes there. We need to talk about. Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. I'm gonna book it. This. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna book it. Let's go together. <laughs> yeah, I, we'll be going. <laughs> okay, next. Okay, so um. Concerning the content impact of fashion on social norms and cultural perception, how do you think the freedom of expression in fashion, especially you, mm-hmm. you use kebaya every day, can okay. contribute to social and cultural change? How do you think about it? Yes, I love it. Uh, for me, kebaya is a way for me to embrace my culture, mm-hmm. embrace my heritage, and boost my confidence. Because I asked, I told you previously that kubaya makes me feel like princess, and you guys, you guys can try to use kubaya. Okay, I'll yeah. try it. Yeah. Okay, let's try it. Because it okay. can, yeah, can we can develop more about our country, mm-hmm. more better about why our culture, about the richness of Indonesia. Also. I agree. That's right. Yeah. That's true. How about you? Uh, I actually don't wear a lot of kubaya. In, in Aceh, <laughs> we don't have kubaya. Okay. Uh, okay. So, um, but I'm. Rather than uh, honoring my culture mm-hmm. in fashion, mm-hmm. which I wish I can do, mm-hmm. but uh, I haven't found a lot of access okay. through Achenese uh, mm-hmm. clothing, okay. and that is cheap and accessible for me. And, uh, I'm a design student, so I design a lot of uh, Achenese related stuff. Wow. So, wow. yeah, uh, that's one way I'm in touch with my culture. Sadly, I don't wear a lot of cultural things. I really want to wear a lot of batik, but I don't know. I honestly don't know the reason I haven't been. So I think I'm, I'll need to try to buy some like this batik skirts. I love it. I really want to wear it. Yeah, yeah, they're matching. Yes. Yes. Uh, actually, uh, I use batik in a, uh, in in my daily life. Oh, yeah. really? Yes, but not in Kubai because I don't have Kubai. I'll give you that. I I use the uh, batik in my daily life. It's, it's it's also very interesting topic because in my class they're not really uh, open minded about the body itself. Mm. They're just like okay, just wear it. But it's not like, okay. They have their definition, right? Yeah. It's still like so. Just being yourself. I mean, like let's love what we want to to love, right? Okay, so uh, next we can jump to our next question. Day by day, surely you feel the reaction of the people, right? Yeah. The reaction of people run. Have you found a positive impact in your life in expressing yourself through fashion? What were the significant differences in yourself before you dare to express yourself through the fear fiction? From the beginning. Okay, I saw it all. 
you earlier that kebaya can boost my confidence mm -hmm. can boost my positivity and it also can be my personal branding also oh, because yeah. every time i talk to people i know you that i don't know your name but i know that you're the kebaya girl <laughs> so you don't know my name but yeah you know okay. you, you know they know me as the kebaya girl and for me yeah, it boosts my, my positivity and uh, it kind of connects me to my such uh cultural heritage to my grandma to my family and yeah it's it was a wonderful experience for me to start wearing kebaya since first day of college oh that's good to hear <laughs> how about you guys uh so i'm sorry can you repeat the question ah, the question is um day by day surely you feel the reaction of the people around you mm -hmm. and have you found a positive impact in your daily life in expressing yourself through fashion what were the significant differences in yourself before you dare to express yourself through fashion uh, so I really actually fashion has made me a lot of a lot more confidence than than con being confident has made me find fashionable uh, when back at home I really feel like I need to hide everything on my body uh, because of the prejudice and like the stereotypes but here I feel like it's uh, it's okay to have my body the way it is and not to show it off but like uh, to just let it be. Let it be. Yeah, yeah. To let it be. And I think people commenting on me and how I dress has made me less care about them. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. So like the more that to care. Right? Yeah. Care. The more they comment, uh, the more I'm like, why do you care? I don't why even do care. care. <laughs> yeah, I don't even yeah. care. Why do you care? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I think yeah, fashion has made me help, has helped me be be more confident than being confident has made me fashionable. Yeah. 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 But before that, um, from the first that you like your fashion, your own fashion, how about your family uh, reaction? Because it's it's maybe different, right? Uh, our parents, especially yeah. you, Kat, maybe, maybe your parents were like, what are you, what are you wearing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. We have a different different reaction, right? So maybe you can start from that. So, uh, so my parents know that I don't wear the hijab. Okay. Uh, they're okay about it, but my, my mom don't like it when I color my hair, but I'm sorry mom, but I don't care. <laughs> I'm so, I love I, it. I'm really sorry. No, I don't love it. It's just, you should always listen to your mom. And they also don't know that I wear crop tops, so... Uh, but like, it's okay, I guess. I don't care. Uh, I actually do care. <laughs> so, <laughs> we, can, we, <laughs> can, we can change day by day, year by yeah. year. <laughs> But right now, uh, I'm not wearing clothes that are too revealing. I think I, I'm okay as of right now. How about you? Hmm, for me, my family support me a lot. Okay, I know. <laughs> because they are like, oh my god, why you use the kubaya from your grandma? But yeah, I just use it because no one uses it anyway. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I think uh, it's a really good when you look different, right? Yeah. I mean, uh, you're the one. Yeah. So, so let's express. You guys have started. Also. Yeah. Start you, we. Uh, you can start. You can start being yourself. Start be real for yourself, and start just wear whatever you want to make you feel happy, make you feel pretty. Yeah, just embrace yourself. Be yourself and stay confident, guys. Uh, essentially the same thing, but I also want to add that you should always you should always be and feel comfortable in your mm -hmm. own clothes. Uh, don't wear things that make you feel like oh my god I want to I don't want to be seen in this because then you're not gonna enjoy what you wear and people are not gonna look at you comfortably because you are not comfortable yourself. Yeah. So uh, at the end of the day, you should always be comfortable and don't care what people say because yeah. the fear is only in your head. Yeah. yeah. No one really cares. Yeah, yeah. No one really cares. You're gonna die anyway. So <laughs> wear whatever you want. <laughs> yeah. No one cares. Yeah. No one cares. 
Yeah, when yeah. we need to care for other opinion, when mm-hmm. we have mm-hmm. our opinion. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your opinion is the only thing that matters, so yeah. mm-hmm. just we do it. We only just need our self pride. Yeah. Yes, yeah. at the end yeah, of the day, we need that's to right. I think our discussion is an and it has underscored how important it is for every individual to feel comfortable and free to express themselves through fashion and their clothing without fear and restrictions. Freedom of expression in fashion is about accepting and respecting, respecting the uniqueness of each individual and recognizing that personal style in reflection of who we really are. Yes, I agree with your opinion, Devin, because we know that in our generation, it's a very important topic and it's a very crucial topic and we need to talk a lot about it and because fashion is not only about what we wear it's also about what we can feel our identity and feelings to the world that's true every individual has the right to express their identity and creativity through the clothing they wear through fashion we can be a true self without having to fear judgment from others Yes, all right. That's all the interesting discussion of fashion without fear. It doesn't feel like the fun episode has to end, and we are in the in the last part. And but before we end our episode today, how about we listen to the closing statement from our special speaker? Um, maybe we can start from Kat Sebi. Uh, so my closing statement. Um, I think you should always. Like I said, be comfortable, be who you are, don't listen to what people say and surround yourself with people that support you because uh, at the end of the day, you only have yourself to be with and you should always love yourself. Even though sometimes it feels like it's hard, Uh but um, yeah, you only have yourself, so be kind to yourself. Be comfortable and wear whatever you want. Okay, that's love. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's good to hear. So what about the Kabaya girl? Ah, for me, maybe not that long. Yeah, it's okay. That's good. I'm sorry. So, uh, my closing statement is just be yourself and wear everything that you makes you feel happy, make you feel pretty. Yeah. Actually, today is very. Uh, I I I do a lot of things today, but yeah, because this discussion is too, really yes. good. It's because we talk a lot, a lot about the positive things, right? Yeah. About our trend, about the fashion. And we would, we would like to thank speakers who accompany us and spend the time with us today, which is it's very, um, I mean, you guys really uh, want to do another things, but you guys uh, have time for, for this uh, conversation. It's really, it's really happy to, to, to saw you, to see you in here, guys. No, it's, it's actually my honor yeah, to be yeah. here. Yeah. 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 Okay, we also would like to thank thank you to the audience who has listened to this episode of PSB Broad Talk until the end. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video on your social media. Okay, so as we close this episode, let us shout out our tagline together with our special speaker today. Okay. Okay. Let's do it together. Yes, we brought up 2024. Get ready, be out there. Never get bored.